Hi guys, Edwina here. So today I'm feeling motivated to talk about stress. Last night, a girlfriend and I went and saw Damien Christoph in Melbourne um, at his talk, which is called Crack the Stress Code. And it really highlighted for me just how interconnected everything is. In my work, I spend a lot of time talking about food and nutrition. I talk about sleep. I talk about movement. I talk about connection, both to nature and our community. And all these things are interconnected and critically important pieces of the puzzle when dealing with our health and well-being. And stress is a big one in this whole picture. So when we talk about stress, we're talking about physical, emotional and chemical stress. And all these things affect the body in the same way. And if not managed properly, lead to anxiety, overwhelm, insomnia, depression, and everything from weight gain to acne and um, you know memory impairment and memory loss. The list is pretty endless. So let's um, have a look at these three types of stress and where, where they might be creeping into the body and some really simple strategies to managing it and starting to get on top of all this cortisol and adrenaline that is actually really important and useful, um, useful hormones in our system, but when not managed properly lead to all these terrible um, symptoms and you know debilitating consequences to our lives. So chemical stress comes into our lives through the products that we use in our personal care. Um, you know, so it might be um, soaps and moisturizers and um, shampoos that are filled with fragrances and all these other nasty chemicals that can cause chemical stress in our bodies. It's in the cleaning products that we might be using in our homes if they're not natural. It's in our, in our everyday environment, quite often really unavoidable. So it might be the pollution from cars that we're all exposed to, but when our bodies are healthy and vital, we can deal with this pollution as long as it's not too overwhelming. So thinking about cutting back on those chemical stresses in our lives, physical stress, sitting. They say sitting is the new smoking. We need to move our bodies. We need to get up. If we have a sedentary job, like me, where you do a lot of work at the computer, get up every 45 minutes, do a little Tabata, run on the spot, get your heart rate up, get your breathing up, wake yourself up, get back outside and you know, stand in the sun for 10 minutes, take 10 deep breaths and relax your body. And then there is emotional stress and we are all dealing with emotional stress often on a daily basis. And um, oftentimes it is simply unavoidable. And then so it is looking at ways to combat the effects of this stress on our system so that we can start to manage it better. So um, your tongue, um, I learned this last night, which is really interesting and a fantastic easy indicator of your stress. So we talk about um, your parasympathetic and your sympathetic nervous system. So when your sympathetic nervous system is activated, that is when your cortisol and adrenaline is in place. So this can be good because your cortisol helps you to wake up in the morning and it helps you to... Um, actively learn and be engaged. So you'll notice that when your sympathetic nervous system is activated, your tongue is sitting on the roof of your mouth behind your top teeth. Now when your parasympathetic nervous system is activated, that is when you relax. This is what happens before you go to sleep. So um, you can activate this mindfully by taking 10 deep breaths just like that 10 times and you'll notice that your tongue drops to the bottom of your mouth below your bottom teeth. And it is also important to activate your parasympathetic nervous system to imagine that your belly is like a balloon and when you breathe in, your belly goes out. So it's filling up like a balloon and when you breathe out, it goes in. And this is a fantastic 
tool to use with your children when they're feeling anxious or stressed or before they're, you know, if they're having trouble going off to sleep, to do this breathing, to breathe into their bellies and then breathe out. And sometimes when um, my younger ones wake with bad dreams, that stress of an awful dream, this is a great exercise to do. Breathing in the good, filling up the body, filling up the balloon, the belly with good and breathing out the bad fantastic for dealing with stress. So what else can we do for stress? Well, we need to move our bodies. As I've already said, going for a walk for 30 minutes reduces the cortisol load in your body by 50%. Go for a walk for 30 minutes. It is fantastic therapy. Um, eating foods that are organic, not chemically laden, that are not just fuel, but energy as well. So they are full of vitality from fresh, local, seasonal produce. Um, and when I talk about energy in food, think of a, a, a cracker, like a soy biscuit or something like that, versus an apple or something that has energy. A Think of a carrot or a piece of capsicum or you know food that is vital and alive will give you energy sleep prioritize sleep it is the ultimate gift for a day well lived it is your reward at the end of the day go to sleep be into bed you know within a few hours of the sun going down make sure you're not exposed to blue light so tvs and um, devices screens in the hour before you go to bed this will help you to sleep better also being exposed to more sunlight during the day, getting that sunlight to actually hit your eyeballs is really important to good sleep. And this is a great help with stress. Um, connection, connection to community, connection to nature. These are two really important and really powerful tools in combating stress. Have a cup of tea with your girlfriend. Um, call somebody that you haven't spoken to for a while, get involved in community events, connect to your fellow man, not through social media, but face to face and connection to nature. Get your feet back in the grass, soak up those electrons and get that vitality happening in your body. And the last one is the best. It is to laugh. So whatever it takes, to get a really good belly laugh happening. Download a list of the top 10 funniest movies. Catch up with those girlfriends that really make you laugh. Whatever it takes, this is a fantastic therapy. And also, for those of you that are tuned into my Random Acts of Kindness um, 30 day challenge that's coming up in the, for the whole month of September. You're going to get videos every uh, five every week for the whole month that is going to tap into this de stressing. So, through um, doing acts of kindness in your community and deliberate acts of kindness to yourself, you're going to light up the reward centers in your brain. You're going to increase your serotonin, which is your happy hormone, and the list of positive impacts in your life are going to be absolutely life-changing. So I'll pop a link to that under this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing because there's lots more to come on how to live a brilliant, bold, beautiful, stress-free free life. Oh, all right, that's it from me today. Bye for now.